pretty. What's up, socials? Happy Sexy Wednesday. Today, I want to talk to you about three of my favorite design apps. Because you know, we're all working on that bootstrapping budget. So sometimes you just gotta create a graphic on the fly. So these are the best tools that I recommend. First is the OG of online design tools, and that's pickmonkey.com. A really simple interface to work with. Basically just upload a photo and you can do whatever you want with it. You can even create a photo on the platform as well. I don't find it to be the most amazing experience for that in particular, but I do edit each and every every one of my YouTube thumbnails on pickmonkey.com because they got them filters, baby. I love them. Definitely a great place for you to be adding text to your YouTube thumbnails as well as even just graphics you wanna share on social media. So go check that out at pickmonkey.com. Second, you guys know I've done a video about this in the past. It is definitely a top contender for the number one spot and that is canva.com. Maybe you guys listened to the Marketing Lifestyle Show. I've actually interviewed Guy Kawasaki who is the chief evangelist for Canva. So we could talk a little bit about about what you can do on this platform, but over the time that I've been using it since I first joined, I am blown away. Constantly getting comments on Twitter and Facebook like, oh my gosh, your graphics are so pretty, please tell me how you do it, and I literally get on Canva and make something that is Facebook friendly in T minus 30 seconds. If you know what you wanna say, get on Canva and they'll give you a way to say it beautifully. They make it so simple for you to design a Facebook cover photo, a YouTube thumbnail, anything you want custom sized or something that is optimized to show up well on social. Cause who wants to memorize pixels and numbers of pixels? Not me. So if you've been wondering where I've been getting my Facebook images and things of that nature lately that are not YouTube thumbnails, it's canva.com. So go check that out. Watch the video that I made previously if you want some more details about that. Third and finally is a mobile app that I am really, really excited about. I actually learned about it from my friend, the Instagram gal, who I'm gonna tell you more about later. She knows all about optimizing that Instagram photo. And sometimes you actually get way more engagement if you have some text on your photo, so she recommends WordSwag. I downloaded it, it's $3.99 in the App Store. I don't think it's available for Android, but something to check out. It is really amazing how it can take your words and make them look gorgeous. I've definitely seen some amazing text apps for Instagram photos and things of that nature, but this one, I mean, it's stunning from Jump Street. You don't have to spend a bunch of time in all the details to make it better. I mean, they have a lot of stuff ready to go that makes it really easy for you to have gorgeous photos, especially on Instagram where it's so important to get that double tap. So go check out Word Swag in the iTunes App Store and let me know what you think. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you sign up for Amy's Elite so you don't miss a beat. That link's in the purple bar below. But wait, there's more. Tomorrow is Social Thursday and I will be out of the office and sharing a video I did while in Dallas last week with my friend, the Instagram gal. She is going to share all of her top tips for having an amazing Instagram presence, so you have to watch, okay? So come back tomorrow for Social Thursday and I'll see you there.